reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. As... Duel one. Let's rock. Let's 
にもなんで to enter the mayhem. Nagori Yuki. I'm 
I assume Vice has been going Zato the whole time. Because generally, people don't counter big too much in this game. Or at least not mid set. At least not so far. But either way, we got a 2 1 set. Vice is up. Uh, this match is probably mad volatile. Mad volatile not going to be. Yeah, now Nagor Yuki's got swimming position. Hits blood gauge is draining. And Zato's in the corner without Peter. Close up. Gold burst, now he has map meter to work with. Well, nice. Now why are they a part of Mega? Interesting. Yeah, Vice is really, really good at using FD in order to make the pressure down against too crazy. Nice poke out on the frame neutral. He pops! Does he have a punish for this? Not a strong one. But the health is still draining. FD's the bad super. Now he's in. Nice spacing, invite hell is blocked. But this is a rough round of win. He got to FD that. He was already doing some clone, so he could not FD, and he did not have metered RC. 
That's gonna be it. Fight's going up around. Set point. Oppose camp challenge. Command grab gets all that Eddy meter back. What's he do after it? 6P. Pierce. Frog. Nice. It's a wall break. That's a lot of meter on the part of Vice, but not much on the part of Mecha. Nice spin. Sets up his pressure. Command grab. This is how he starts winning rounds. Another command grab. What is this? I'm not sure about that PRC. That kind of halted the momentum. And the whiff burst. Now this is looking very tough. Zen. Oh, he, nice. he needed that command grab. The burst whiffs, and we're going to round three. Wow, what a comeback from Mecha. Got that command grab, but all the momentum shifted. Here's nice. Pose can't challenge. Ooh, charge D. And Lato gets pretty strong combos off of Tyrakawa. Very weird looking combos, but strong ones nonetheless. Here's plus. Oppose. Tried to challenge on the oppose, and I think he should be dead. Oh, it whips. No Eddie. Pokes out. Next plan here. Ooh, Bar Slash actually connects. Yo, he's in. Jumps the command grab. Yeah, nice jump from Vice. Yeah, the only way Mecha was going to bring that all the way, all the way back was if he landed a command grab or two, because I think he was going to pop if he didn't get the uh, command grab there. So smart on Vice to just kind of take, or uh, he looked at the risk reward. He decided, hey, if I jump, I'm probably fine. If he command grabs, I punish him. And if I get hit after the combo, he's going to pop. And then his health bar is draining, and I can chip him out with something. So, yeah, good decision making on the part of Vice. Good matchup knowledge. And there we have ads. Come to Encore. It's sick here. If you haven't, if you're watching the stream and you haven't been here, first off, that's probably not many of you. Second, you should come here. It's like the best venue in New York for Smash tournaments or Guilty Gear tournaments. It's sick. It's large. It's air conditioned. People are nice. It's cool. On Tuesdays, we've got this, the Guilty Gear and Smash Weekly where everything is best of five. So even if you're not usually getting super deep in the brackets, but you still want to play those best of five sets with all that adaptation, you want to get all that experience, these are the brackets for you. If you want the super stacked stuff, if you want the crazy, insane, like best players in the Northeast all showing up, then those are the Thursday Smash Ultimate brackets. Uh, that's what you want. Who we got here? We got Homie and Tetsuo. I've heard of these players. I don't think I've actually seen them play. Hello. Maybe I have. I don't remember. Was Homie a Geo? I think Homie was a Geo. I know we have like two or three Geos on the menu at the moment. Bracket looks like we have what, like 10 people in the bracket? Something like that. I know that there are a few players who usually come out to uh, to these weeklies who are quite strong. There is a million player named Fresh Newspapers and a chip player named Pedro Parker who are not coming out uh, as much anymore. I think the, the former was because he had work and the latter was because he was a little scared of the new COVID variants that are coming around. Do definitely, definitely a, a valid reason not to come to a weekly. Uh, you know, don't put, you know, don't make like, if you're very, very worried about that, do not make stupid decisions. It's not worth it to go get experience playing a video game just so you can, and putting your health at risk or the health of your loved ones at risk. These like Delta variant, stuff like that, they're real. Like they're not a meme. You should be they're like we should be wary, and you should be aware of the of trying to stop them from becoming. Because no, nobody wants to go through round two of quarantine. Nobody does. It's also a good reason to get vaccinated. Uh, Encore does have a uh, policy where if you are vaccinated and you are at the tournament, you do not have to wear a mask. But if you are not vaccinated, you do have to wear a mask. Uh, yeah, it's just good to keep yourself healthy in, uh, in trying times like these. It's not good to take many um, many more risks than you have to. 
versus. You dare to enter the mayhem. Now what do we got here? Remo? I do like some Remo. We got Ramlethal Ditto. Or mirror, I should say. Color 1 and Color 5. I agree with the color choices. These are the two best colors that are not in the 7 through 11. 7 through 11 not on every setup. So if you only have 1 through 6, you should pick one of these two for playing Ram. That means you're a good person. Ram... Mirror is very volatile. When somebody gets a hit in the Ram Mirror, whoever gets in the corner first, if they don't have meter, it can be truly hard for them to actually start playing the video game again. So I expect to see something like this. Like, now Tetsuo is in an extremely hard position already. We're, what, 10 seconds into the round? Got him. First up. 5P? Interesting. A lot of jumping going around. Yeah, nice XP. Throws him back. Ooh, backs up to fake the throw. I don't know if he actually did throw, but he got hit by the far slash. And now he's getting rammed. Good FDs to make sure that he can't get 2k'd off that pressure. Very knowledgeable. Jumps with the 6H. Jumps out again. Gets thrown. Ram team playing. Bang earlier. Gets thrown again. That's like... Oh, that's not a good... Throw. Ah, what's going on? Interesting. Oh, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Nice, 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 nice spot. Interesting to go to the close slash on that Oki again because uh, Tetsuo has shown that he's not afraid to do weak crab. And it has worked, it worked for him like three times that round. Nice. Backs up. This is a much scrappier game than I was expecting. They're really, really scrapping. Jumps in. Nice, it worked out. Got him. Really, does the third one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Throw. Nice reversal throw. Nice reversal throw. Skill to gear. Sing. Yeah, gun jumps in. Double low into Rekka. Doesn't commit to the rest of it. Sword throw. Is it gonna burst? He tries to bait the burst. To avoid H. No, you could have won the round! For those who don't know, if you get the, either an air hit of Mortobato or if you get a counter hit Mortobato, you can combo it into her 2-1-4-H, which is a sword slam, and it does not scale. It's a lot of damage. But in situations like that, you actually can just win the round straight up. Pokes up a plus five, you saying? First. Ooh, nice scout on the dump. Now he's in the corner, he's taking damage. He's gonna probably wall break. 50 meters, spends it. I think he tried, but he messed up the super input. What is this about? Okay, that's weird. But it worked out. Nice stuff. When are we going to take game one? Remember, this is a best of five. Everything in these tournaments is a best of five. Duel one. Let's rock. Hit him into run up throw. Ooh, baits out something. And it worked out. So a throw. Nice. Super? No super. Takes. This is a, a hard comeback to make, though. Like I said, whoever gets to hit in the ramp of a mirror really does just run away with it. Violent. That would work. Let's rock. Five can each other. 5k, Ramble Ball's most non committal poke. While her mid range is fantastic, 5k, 5k goes pretty far and is also very, very fast. Whereas Far Slash or Heavy Slash are a lot more committal. Far Slash, RC's up. What a weird combo, but he gets a knockdown. Glad he gets thrown. In the corner, what's your plan? Tries to cover the jump out with the eight with the S sword. Far slash. And that is gonna be 2-0 for Homie looking like he made some pretty important adaptations. Which you can kinda see the way that he's playing. Dual one. Let's rock. Slash, yeah. Cannot see the video game. Hey, so I must see the video game. Hey, there we go. First up, good burst. Both of both out of a burst. 
it makes sense. Like I said, you don't want to let the other ramble fire start set. Ramble fall start establishing momentum. God, her name is hard to say. Just to say right. Okay. Nice pokes. Backs up. Interesting. Nice. Got him. I messed up his combo and he doesn't get a knockdown anymore. That sucks. Mortobato does not get punished because it's safe if you air block it. Doesn't kill. Yeah, he uses FD to prevent taking the chip kill. Nice 6P in the other direction. Switches the direction to do the 6P because he jumped out of the corner. Nice awareness from Omi now on tournament point. Interesting. Takes his turn after the minus two and it works out. And now this is a very difficult position. Tetsuo. What the? Got him! Oh, wait, never mind. I misunderstood. I think the names are flipped. It's okay. Whatever. 2 1. Very, very aggressive game. Like game three. Dual one. Now what? Let's rock. Backs up. Follows. That's what I'm playing much more aggressive than Omi is, I think. Got him. 6P. Pokes. Yeah, Hobie's trying to match out a lot of these uh, situations where Tetsuo is plus. He might not know. Because off of the grounded hit of Daro, which is that one, she is plus five, I think. Or she's plus ten, one or the other. I don't know if she's plus five. With, he was too early on the throw, now he gets thrown. And there is a way where Homie wins this round, but he's got to do some god tier pressure. And he does not get six P out of that round. Tetsuo mounting a comeback. Daro, really? Sword throw? Really? Got him. RC. Damage. Does sword throw. Weird. IED is with the aggressor or donor. Doesn't work. Mortobato, and he had 50 more meter, so even if he did block that, he would have RC'd and he would have been plus. 2-2! Two, two. Very, very uh, fast set so far. A very fun set to watch. If you like Ramble Ball. I do. Burst up. I don't know about that burst. That was, I think, kind of an uh, emotional burst rather than a logical burst, which is good for some people. That was almost a god tier conversion. Holy. They're both really trying for these air to air conversions. They're both jumping a lot. Snacks. Max them out of it. They both have a grab. Okay, I think, yeah. Tetsuo backs up. Work. Daro on block gonna get not really punished, but puts him in a, in a bad position. Sword throw. What's a mix? 2S is not watching his toes, and now Tetsuo down around in game five. Both of them with no burst. Let's see what he can do. 6P, nice. Nice, not blocking on wake up. Try block, probably trying to throw. Mortobato, bad situation, but hope he doesn't have a lot of meter. Oh, the Mortal Vado! Ah, Gold first, now with a ton of meter to work with. But on the, at the same time, because of the positive bonus, Homie got a lot too. Homie literally just jumping back from far er, with uh, Dump Slash. Nice 6P. Oh, he's got a pixel in a dream. Gets a hit! What can he do? He can't get a knockdown. Nice combo, but. Got yeah, one more neutral to win until you can get out of this. And he is not gonna win it. The 2k, 5k, far slash. That's gonna be the set. Good stuff to homie. Almost got reverse 3 but was able to adapt to the adaptations and ultimately is able to win the set. Fun set. Ramlefall. That was a re again, really aggressive set for Ramlefall Mirror. I was not expecting all that. What do we got now? I don't know. Maybe I'm up. I haven't played in a while. It's like a small break. Nope. Homie. Yeah. 3 2, if you want to know.
Remember to stay hydrated. Very important during the summer, especially because it is so hot. Make sure that whenever you go to a tournament, you are well hydrated. It helps you play a lot better. Helps you be a lot more aware. In general, but namely in tournaments. Long hair problems. Oh yeah, you're right. We do both have long hair. But yours is like done in a cool way. Mine is just I woke up, I got out of bed like this. <laughs> huh? Well, yeah, but you like at least put it up. Really? Huh? Is it not uncomfortable sleeping on the ponytail? Weird. Zato one. I've never tried it, I guess. Leo White five. Zato Leo. Oh, this matchup's gonna be hilarious. I am fully expecting Zato to do like Pierce or like what's the what's the what's the other one with a gap? Does the frog have a gap? I should check if the frog has a gap. I think it does. But I'm expecting him to do a lot of Zato stuff, and then for him to get DP'd, and for uh, the DP to give Leo Oki, and then for that to happen. These characters are both super and duper good when they actually get their stuff rolling. So, so I think it's going to be a very momentum-based round. They blame the beasts. Oh, and the intros rock? I love these intros. They're so extra. I love Leo's especially. It's so cool. <laughs> what a clown. What a not clown. Actually, Zato's kind of a clown too, but he just doesn't show it in his interest. Jumps the invite to hell. Corner! Leo theme playing. Leo theme's got that one part that everybody knows it's such a good one. Opposed, can't poke. He keeps his plus frames. But yeah, but he runs out of Eddie and he gets DP'd. Toss up. Nice. Ooh, Eddie gets smoked by the projectile. Throws the Berserker Slash. Nice. Plus frames. Frog. More frog. Gets DP'd. Oh, nice. Okay, so we made him think he was going to grab by running up to him like that, and then he did the uh, the kick. And then after he got the kick, he didn't hit confirm off it. He wanted to go to a throw after that, and vice hit. Cross up. This is the worst position. Man grab. Damage. Does so much. Worst position. Gets hit by the mids. Pose. No, Drunken Shade does not like Projectile. Projectile looking like the uh, really, really hard thing for Zato to beat. Eddie's out. Frog gets all the Eddie back, and he's in the corner. Pose, can't poke. Pose drains all the Eddie, though. JD? Nice air throw out of the JD. Command grab. I don't think it'll kill. Yeah, it won't kill. From my understanding, Leo's got pretty high health. So, that's pretty high guts. I could be wrong. Either way, 1-1. One, one. And Vice has his burst, which is oh so important against Leo. You want to use it in situations like that. Frogs up. This should be some damage. Oh, no, he cuts him short. Interesting. It's overhead. Frogs up. Pierce. IB's the second hit of the Pierce. Fight hell. Yeah, this is the important part, just because now he doesn't have... Yeah, when Eddie's coming back, that's the part where it's hardest to keep the uh, the pressure, but if you can do it, it's so important. Fortunately, like, just at the very end, he gets reversal thrown, and now Leo's a positive bonus. It's be very hard to deal with. Pierce? Oh, that was probably an accident. I don't assume that meant to be a uh, a super jump D or uh, S, I think. That's his super jump S. Up. Dude, frog is so good. 
That's a lot. Open up. Command grab. Gets all the Eddie back. Pose up. Yep. Strong. Eddie's coming back. Nice throw. No DP. Interesting. Maybe he's doing. I think what I'm seeing him do is some ice kicks. He's doing like fuzzy DP. Where it's like trying to DP and then it's getting used by something else on the block. I don't know how much experience he has. Probably not a lot. There aren't that many Zato players. Blocks it and punishes it. Or maybe he can start with something else. It's a lot. Yeah. That one was really kind of obvious. Flies away. Flies into the projectile. Ooh, yeah, Leo gets damage off this. That's my base. Ah! Iffy decision to uh, RC there. I don't assume it was on purpose. No cross up, yeah. Oh, he did cross up, interesting. Plus frames. And he gets all the Eddie back. DP's out, who cares? Plus. Get charged in. Interesting. I think he could have just done uncharged D and then RC'd it, but it did. Yeah, you know what? It worked. Got him. Damage. Gets thrown. Reversal throw looking like the star of the set for Red Thunder. That's the big title. Big enough. There it is. Ooh, he's so plus. Nice FDs. Nah, Trigger Shade gets hit. Oppose! Do you smoke him for this? No. Okay. I don't know what the situation is on the Or on that combo. Wish the command grab gets grabbed. Bad position. Get crossed up. Hard, hard, hard thing for Vice to win at this point. But it's not undoable. Frog's in. Got some Eddie left. Oh, the frog whiffs! Oh, that sucks. Maybe that frog can hit. Gets close slash just as Eddie came back. Very, very close. Cause even, I mean, he had. I guess Red Thunder had his burst, so Vice needed to win two different situations there, but either way. Switch to Kai? I don't know if that's the move, but if he's, feeling, if he's feeling it, then you know what? He should do what he feels. Whatever makes you more confident. That's my mentality for character picks. If you feel like it's the right way to go, it's the right way to go. Red Thunder feeling himself. What the heck? I wonder what he's listening to. We got King against King. For the Illyrian Kingdoms. Man, Probably will not let the intros rock again. But I really like their interactions, so I hope they do. Aww. Oh, the, yo, these colors are the same. <laughs> got him. Man grab DP. IV's the sigil, but he still gets hit. Oh my god, he's getting Leo'd. Bro, this is immensely Leo. DP's out. Nice YRC. 100 meters. Yeah, you know for a fact he's not holding anything. Why would he? Ah, weird, weird, weird. A lot of spaghetti, but this comeback is almost complete. He does wake up super to get through the fireball. Yo, Leo is swinging at nothing. Yeah, Leo's uh, sweep, fantastic. That's a good setup, too. No burst on the part of Vice, so he kind of just has to hold his wall break. Not wall break, the ba uh, back stance. Knockdown? Interesting, goes into D. Got him, base throw. And he gets the ride, the lightning. Not a kill, but a hard round for Red Thunder to win. He has to Leo him hard for this. And that's how it starts. That's definitely how it starts. Throw, he's back stance. YRC, smart. God. Tournament point four, or not tournament point. Set point for Red Thunder. Vice needs this in order to stay in. Set side, or this uh, round decides it all. Throws him out of the cross up. Got him. Or uh, meaty 5k, actually quite good for Kai if you don't know. 
does not throw him out of that one. I thought it really liked the process. What the heck? Got him. Really? Just goes right into Ride the Lightning. Wall break. Oh help on the part of Red Thunder, but still not unwinnable by any means. Dust? DE and a stare down, but he gets DP. He did DP and a stare down. I can see it. Yo, tries to bait something out, punish it with the landing tape, but it doesn't work. Tries to backdash, but gets fireballed. We've all been there. That was a really interesting fireball on the part of Ice, too. Not gonna lie. Man. Nice! Anti air close slash. A lot of whiffing going on on both parties. Yeah, as a neutral controller, if I've ever seen one. Not, what a DP! Interesting. Super's up. Not super. Maybe it must be input. Thunderbird round start. Thunderbird, great if you have meter. A way to check your opponent. Toss up. Looks like he does it every time. Just a matter of when, not if. DPs. Doesn't RC for the kill. Not sure why. Super? Ooh, got him! But he didn't get the knockdown. The knockdown is what he, I think, kind of needed there. Thunder for punishable. Like, Kai got the throw? And he got that too! He threw the round! What the heck? Wow! Nice on the part of Vice. What the heck? DB hits behind. It's a big, big bubble. Shock safe. Got him! Throw. Uh, dust, but it gets DP'd. What's the mix? Nothing. And then to get thrown out of your cross. Oh, yeah. Vice is looking a lot cleaner now. Sun never, but he blocks it. Got him. Yeah. Red Thunder's jumping a lot. Interesting. You don't usually see Leo players jump that much. Oh, he DP'd in between the hits of Sun Dipper. So smart. Throw? Yeah. RC. There is a burst safe route that Kai can do there involving H Fireball, but it's kind of hard. I don't know if, I, if uh, Vice knew it, but either way, he gets the round. Nice. nice. It's an amazing adaptation. The switch to Kai really working out. It looks like just the solid neutral of Kai is really coming into a, a lot more clutch. Also, the jump ins for sure. Having a normal air dash instead of Sato's fly may actually be more helpful on the part of Vice in this matchup. And now we're at 2 2. Throw. Tries for the charge D. Doesn't hold the pressure afterwards, though. So. Oh, food Rark? No Food Rark. Shock State runs out. Shock back's on. Eat Fireball? Eat Fireball. Jumping around. DP? No DP. He never DPs at a backhand. He's just so Bursts late. But he bursts. What a pickup. Got him. Ooh, got him. Could have killed, I think. Gets DP'd. Full meter on the part of both sides. But he gets counter hit by the Fudra arc. Ride the lightning. Got him. Up around. Vice up around, I should specify. Sweep? Ah, close. There's the sweep punish. That's so strong. Play with sweep, probably one of the best in the game. Jumps the command grab, nicely done. Bro, take a plus frame. It does a weird JD setup, but it works out. Kudrarx plus. Shock state. More fireballs. Ooh, projectile getting Red Thunder out of prison. Ooh, got him. Yeah, but he can't get the wall break. Kind of give that up. Get six speed, nice. Ooh, what a throw. Let's do the stagger setup. Got him. He fireball. Every time he, fi he fireballs, Vice is jumping like you have to, but Red Thunder's kind of just backing off after that. It's really interesting. Cross up. Burst out. He wants to win this round, not the next one. Can he do it? Swing, swing, swing. Got ya. The throw is predictable. 
sweep. What's he do here? Throw. We're going to set the round three of game five. What a set this is. Music's kicking up. DP's out. Cross up. Cross up. Yeah, there it is. Gets thrown. Oh, he doesn't. What the heck's going on? Keeps the corner. Does not get it by the charge dust. Ah, but he. Throw. This is a weird interaction. He's getting reset a lot. Does not wake up blocking. Ride the lightning. Will win the set for Vice. What a. What a set, really. That was a really good set. I never heard that. As soon as we've both gotten stronger. I didn't know he had that line for Leo. That's cool. Alright, I'm up. Duel one. Let's rock. Thank you. 
to enter the mayhem. Ramlethal Zapter 1. Oh, 
asshole to slap. Duel two. Let's rock. Oh, I need it. It's good. I'm
dares to enter the mayhem. Ramlethal Valentine. Leo Whitefang. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Duel one. Let's rock! <laughs> 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 Mankind new. Dual one. Let's rock. <laughs> Mankind knew that they Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Slash. 
slap. Dual two. Let's rock.
end of the mayhem. Zato one. Alright. It's time for losers finals. This is four out of seven. Homie versus Vice. Zato versus Ramlethal. Vice has already fought a Ramlethal in myself in a winner's finals in a very odd set. It went very weird. Um, Mankind knew that they cannot but, change so, you society. know, I don't think he's uncomfortable with the matchup. I think he's, I think he's still learning it, though. Let's rock. Oh. Who's this? Is this? No, this is this. Whatever, I'll, 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 I'll recognize it. Oh, this is Faust theme. Never mind. Okay. Oh. Um, Alright, so we got... Oh. Homie! Uh, his ram pressure is pretty good. What did he do here? Face the jump out with the JP, nice. Mortobato from the other side of the screen. Now he's getting frog. Nice burst, I agree. Ah, yeah. He, yeah, it was a hero burst. Yeah, that was a hard round to win. I'm not sure about that burst. But it's easier to be a critic than a player. Let's rock. I don't know. Frog? Frog doesn't connect fully. What the heck? Throw. 2k? No 2k. Yeah, 2s starter. This is some damage. Whiffs the wall break, though. <laughs> Gets up at the second hit. Man grab gets. Now he gets full Eddie Meter. I think that's his 2x, right? The hand. It's really good. The coolest super in the game. Besides the Infinity War Yuki's. Hit the stance. A lot, and yeah, okay, the burst was after a lot of damage, but he didn't let him get the positive bonus, so that's good. Jumps out. He's a ram player, we all jump up. Oh, not pressure. Nice YRC. YRC, uh, it's hard to bait with ram. You need to be in very specific situations. You need to be very, very awake. Jump, catches the jump out again. Now Vice stays grounded. Goal burst, a lot of meter on both sides. The only one to kill, I agree with this. Ah, but it did not work out. I don't know if that was the best positioning to use the super in, but the super itself was a good idea. Either way, Helmy with a, a really, really good run under into punish on his landing. He goes up a game in this four out of seven he said. Oh. That was a weird thing. Boss brains. Oh, frog. Gets his Eddie back real quick. Nice super that chunks your health bar. Beats the YRC, but does not get a punish. I'm telling you, it's so hard to punish. You might have died, B. Uh, only a two frame window, as you may know. Blocks the sword. Opposed to block the jump in. Yeah, it's really, really compelling to want to jump in as Ramaphal, and Zato's got one of the best tools to fight that and oppose in the entire game. Backs up. Here's plus frame, that's a lot, plus 50. Frog trades, and now she's in the corner. He can't keep her there. She, yes, he can. Now Eddie's back up. Counter hit 6P. Yo, the damage? It's kind of Odie. Man, grab. Can he RC up us? 
No, it didn't matter. He didn't need to. 1-1. One, one. Congratulations. He's your boss now. Let's rock. Man grab. It's Eddie bag. Put the ram at 100 meters. So where's the motorboat? YRC instead. Interesting. Put it on all ends. In the corner. No Eddie, but oh my god, the frog counter hit the Mortobato? What the heck? Oh, crazy. oh my god, swats away Eddie. And with the amazing air to air. Counter hit 6H, this should be so much damage. Yeah, look at that. Oh, no, it's little break then, or super, but instead just takes most of his health bar. Can he RC up this? Not well. Not uh, one, one round, one round, one round? Yeah, one round, one round. Got him. Punish. First to keep him in the corner. Smart decision. Exactly where you want that. Dash up to get the Pierce. Jumps to Pierce. I didn't know you could do that. Do that to you. Nice. Now H-Sword is locked behind Zod.